Hi guys, this is Avril Kefren. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your performance in the uh, Ash of the Synchrology game. Uh, you don't have a lot of options in this game to, uh, to modify, but uh, it will more be like it will be a tutorial that show you what you can change, and it will not impact too much your um, graphic and the quality of the game, and you will gain more FPS. So first of all, if you have a bad computer or a bad CPU, make sure that the resolution is not full HD. Just put 720p and you will gain uh, <laughs> a shitload of FPS. Uh, also, VSync over here. Make sure you uncheck that if you have, for example, a, a 144Hz. And even if you have a 60Hz screen, make sure you uncheck this. Sometimes your GPU wastes resources just to sync with your monitor. So make sure it's check off. If you have a Sly double card, Sly for NVIDIA or... Crossfire for uh, AMD, make sure you enable uh, this part. Also, I want to mention, make sure that you upgrade your latest driver on AMD or NVIDIA. I got two different computers and uh, it will make a big difference. And also, on uh, my AMD uh, GPU perform well if I compare to uh, uh, my NVIDIA GPU. Uh, and also, if you have Windows 10, make sure you boot the game in DirectX 12, you will gain uh, more FPS. MSAA, multi-sample anti-aliasing, that one it will impact a lot your uh, performance, so again, that one, if you're, again, if you have like a bad computer, put it at off, but I don't like to put it at off because you will see a big decrease in the quality of your uh, anti-aliasing, so maybe just put 2x and you will see uh, what's gonna happen with your game. Point light quality, that one. Uh, you can stay at I. If you put it at F, I gain 2 FPS. It's not that important, but depending on where you are with the game, if you just gain, like, I don't know, if you're running the game at 25 FPS, maybe you should think about it. Uh, glare quality, that one, uh, again, here for each bracket, I gain maybe 2 FPS for each different bracket, so not a big deal. Terran object quality, that one is a pretty big deal for my, my computer. So uh, for each bracket, I gain 3 to 4 FPS, so it's a lot. If you go to I to low, you will gain almost 8 to 9 FPS, so that one is very important. Uh, shading sample, again, for uh, for me, not a big thing. Um, I have like a 3 gig uh, VRAM card, and it uh, it's, it's doing well, so uh, I'm just staying at mid. I gain like 1 to 2 FPS for each bracket, so not a big thing for me. Terrain shading, terrain, shen, terrain shendi, shading sample, sorry, I'm French. Uh, for that one, it's a bit of a mix. It depends. On my NVIDIA car, um, I have some trouble with it, but on my AMD car, I don't see a lot of difference. I gain maybe 1 to 2 FPS for each bracket, but on NVIDIA, I gain 3 to 4, so uh, just make, make sure that you test it uh, depending on your configuration and your uh, card. I don't have uh, the latest NVIDIA card, a Maxwell card. I'm running a 780 Ti, so it's an old card. So make sure that you're testing that one. Uh, shadow quality, this will impact a lot your uh, CPU too. Um, so that one, if you have a bad computer, just go straight up to off. Because anyway, shadow quality is not a big deal for me uh, if you look at the quality of the graphic. Yeah, it's nice, you have a shadow, but honestly, it impacts a lot your game. So just test it at off and you will see like not the, the yeah you don't see any like shadows but you will gain a lot of fps maybe four to five for each bracket so that one is pretty important texture quality not that important but uh, again if you have some problem with the game just go to mid and you will be good so that's about it if you have any question uh, you can qu um, comment on my uh, youtube section also don't forget to subscribe and uh, post whatever your, your, your rig and your question. I will answer uh, the best that I can. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.